Mastering Percentage Decrease, The Simplified Guide. Hello, learners. Today, we're going to tackle a practical and useful concept, percentage decrease. We use it in our day-to-day -day lives, whether we're shopping during a sale, comparing data, or just analyzing numbers in general. Let's break down this concept, understand how it works, and see how to solve percentage decrease problems. Percentage decrease represents a reduction in a quantity or number expressed as a percentage of the original quantity. It's a measure of how much something has gone down, relative to the original number. This is commonly seen in sales or when comparing data that shows a decrease over time. An important point to remember is that percentage decrease is always calculated relative to the original amount. When we calculate the percentage decrease, we need to follow a specific formula. 1. Subtract the new number from the original number. This will give us the decrease in the number. 2. Then, we divide this decrease by the original number. 3. Finally, we multiply the result by 100 to get our percentage decrease. In terms of a formula, it looks like this. Original number. New number. Original number by 100%. This formula is the key to solving all percentage decrease problems. Now that we've learned the formula, it's time to apply it. For example, let's say a shirt you like was originally priced at $50, but is now on sale for $40. You want to find out the percentage decrease in the price. Here is how we do it. 1. Subtract the new price from the original price, which is $50 minus $40 equals $10. 2. Then, divide this decrease by the original price, which is $10 per $50 equals 0.2. 3. Finally, multiply the result by 100 to get the percentage decrease which is 0.2 times 100% equals 20%. So, the price of the shirt has decreased by 20%. There you go, we've demystified the concept of percentage decrease. We've understood what it is, learned the formula, and put it into practice. Remember, practice is the key to mastering any concept. So, Try solving different percentage decrease problems to become more comfortable with this concept. As always, keep learning, stay curious, and don't hesitate to revisit this video if you need a refresher. Thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.